ఓం నమో వెంకటేశాయ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ది క్రిస్టనైజేషన్ ఆఫ్ టీటీడీ పర్టికులర్లీ ది క్రిస్టనైజేషన్ ఇన్ బర్డ్ హాస్పిటల్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద హాస్పిటల్ ఫండెడ్ బై టీటీడీ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ సో హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఫండ్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ టు దిస్ హాస్పిటల్ సో వీ టాక్ టు సెవెరల్ పీపుల్ in the hospital as well as in devasthanam to find out to what extent there are um, christians working in either bird hospital or in devasthanam today we will only focus on bird hospital according to our information there are many many christian nurses working in the bird hospital along with them hindu nurses are also working in the same climate and same situation many of these christian nurses they are known by everybody as they as christians the administration knows about it the the temple person who is in charge of it he also knows about it but nobody wants to say anything about it they simply ignore they do not even hear anything about it no complaints will be taken seriously so we talked to couple of nurses who are working in the board hospital according to them many of these christian nurses really harass them harass the hindu nurses and then try to insult them to a, at a great length they will say lord venkateshwara is a shila they don't even mention the name of lord venkateshwara except that shila why you are all worshiping shila means that is the stone you are worshiping stone god so you don't have any common sense you don't have any morals and how can you worship shila and whatever food you offer to that shila it is supposed to be satanic food that means you are all satans so you will never get salvation until you come to christianity they are very direct about it you see they don't hide one thing that we all hindus have to know is christians are basically interested in converting the whole india into a christian nation and in fact that is the reason why they actually he enter into different religious hindu religious organization to make sure they will try to tarnish the image of those gods and then insult all the people who are practicing hinduism and even teerdham also it is called satanic teerdham so anybody who takes uh, the teerdham also they will not get any salvation they all go to hell and they will burn eternally so these are the things that they talk and also they keep on reminding the hindus about their faith and they keep insulting and to such an extent many of the hindu nurses they get sick they are actually mentally and physically strained and actually they get sick also by the time they go home because every minute whenever they see these people they keep keep criticizing and they will even talk about the tilak they put on their forehead and you know they also criticize those that kind of um, situation also now what is the course of action anybody can take so administration is not taking any action furthermore most of the christian nurses whenever they go to see the patients or whenever they admit patients in the hospital they talk about jesus christ and especially the patients who are admitted in the hospital they go to their patient rooms talk about the christian christianity talk about jesus and they will put bible under the pillow and then tell them that uh, you will be saved by jesus to believe in him and you will recover from it and so on and so on so anyway 90 95% of them recover but you see since they are in that vulnerable situation 
So they feel, based on the nurse's information, oh, maybe Jesus is really the one who is going to help me out and recover from this illness. So this is how they are practicing and this is how they are converting people. This is how they are insulting the Hindu nurses. Now, <clears throat> if you all remember, last year, 2019, August 28, Elvi Subramaniam, who was the principal secretary at that time, mentioned or announced that non-Hindus should not be working in any of the Hindu temples. And he also told all the executive officers that they can go and inspect the houses of the suspected Christians to see if they are practicing Hinduism or Christianity unannounced. They need to make some surprise visits to make sure they would not be ready to change the colors in the house and the photos and all that. So that means they should go unannounced and surprise visits and find out what religion they are practicing. Even Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy also mentioned within two days after L.V. Subramaniam's announcement that he also feels that non-Hindus should not be working in the temples. But all everything changed within three, four days. And because of the pressure Jagan Mohan Reddy received from the pastors and all the Christians, L.V. Subramaniam was removed within four or five days after he mentioned that non-Hindus should not be working in the in the in the in the Hindu temples. So we actually suggested a couple of things in order to make sure that it doesn't uh, get Christianized and then how to even identify the Christians. We mentioned that TTD should actually install CC cameras in all the rooms in the hospital, admission room, as well as where the nurses meet and all the patient rooms. So that way we can monitor and see any Christianization is taking place in those rooms. So as a result, he suggested the Shingalji, who was the chief, um, chief executive officer at that time. So he recently was removed and uh, so he was transferred. So at that time, he mentioned, if we know any names of the Christians who are working in the Bird Hospital, so he said he will be able to look at it and see what he can do. At that time, <clears throat> when we are talking about the Bird Hospital, so he also, that is Shingalji, invited Joint Executive Officer Basant Kumar because he is supposed to be the in charge of a bird hospital. So he also listened to all our concerns. He has taken down all the notes. And so we thought they will take appropriate actions. We thought they will also install CC cameras and then make sure that uh, no Christianization will take place. But unfortunately, they have not done anything. In fact, they asked us, if we know any names of the Christians who are working in Bird Hospital, he wanted us to share. So we have submitted 16 names, just only people who are working in Bird Hospital. They say only 16. This is, we have verified to make sure they are Christians. There are many other suspected Christians, but we did not submit all of the names because we didn't want to give the names unless we are sure they are Christians. These 16 names that we submitted, they we have verified, we had investigated, and we submitted the names when? About eight months ago. So far, we have not seen any action. And he also, at that time, in our discussion, so he himself volunteered that we are supposed to do puja every Saturday to Lord Venkateshra in the Bird Hospital. In fact, it is mandatory. Even though it is mandatory, Christian nurses would not come 
to attend any of these functions. Then Shingalji at that time mentioned that one Saturday we, he will require every employee of board hospital to come and attend the puja where he, was, he will assign somebody to put telak on their forehead, give teardam, give prasadam and require them to do the pradakshana. So that way we will know based on their demeanor, the hesitation and manners so we can easily figure out whether they are Christians or Hindus. So we thought that was really a remarkable way of looking at it. So then after about three months, so we have written a letter asking whether he has implemented any of those things. That means one, whether he installed CC cameras, whether he actually required everybody to do attend pujas on Saturday. To our knowledge, there has not been any effort by any of the TTD officials to investigate and find out if they are Christians. So what it tells us is they are deliberately ignoring the request requests of the devotees, Hindu devotees, and indirectly or even probably openly encouraging the Christian nurses to stay and then propagate their religion. So TTD, the bird hospital especially, is it can be designated as a, a Christian operation who are who are basically trying to manage that hospital and without no recourse, there is nothing anybody can do unless DTD is really interested. To our knowledge, up to this point, they have no interest. They do not hear anything about the Christian presence. They don't talk about the Christian presence. They don't even see about it. So they close their eyes, they, they plug their uh, ears, and then they shut their mouth. By doing it, they are encouraging Christians to practice it. Wherever the Christians are there, their main goal is only proselytization, conversion of the people. One book, one God, and one way. That is their own way. And unless we all believe in that one, we are supposed to be eternally burning. So that means, so they come to TTD, a Hindu organization, and they entered either by falsifying or intentionally and trying to destroy the temple which actually feeds them. They have no gratitude, they have no humility, they have no respect, and even then, the administration officials, Subharadigaru, and then executive officer, Shingalji, and then chief minister, deliberately ignoring these requests and openly supporting the Christians by not investigating their true faith. So that means all the Hindus have to figure out what is the course of action Hindus should take. And in fact, about two months ago, that is about August 9, 2020, Sringalji in fact mentioned somebody called actually in that call he mentioned that strict action will be taken on the complaints on any employee working in TTD. So this was the, the this statement was made August 9, 2020. So when we met in December, we mentioned all these things to him. We have even given the names of the Christian nurses, they have not taken any action. It is only for pleasing the public, they make all these announcements to see that they are very serious about it, all that kind of sentiment. But in reality, they are not taking any action. In fact, they are promoting, they are advancing the Christian faith in TTD. They are advocating directly or indirectly by not taking any action. Vigilance officers are there. They don't even look at their 
the 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 Christian um, mentality or any of their faith. So this is how the TTD is working, and especially the Bird Hospital. I think it is up to the Hindus what course of action they need to take. And before too long, so the TTD may become a Christian organization, employed only only employ only Christians, no, nobody else. And you will not we will not be surprised if we do not speak out now. So there is no course of action. It, there will no no return to the original sacred sacredness of our temple. So it is in your hands to protect and preserve the sacredness of uh, Venkateshwara Temple by demanding action, going to the say, board of directors uh, office, Subaridigaru, and then now the the new executive officer. And we need to express our voice. We need to express our concerns. Uh, we need to go and meet every week to see if they have done any of the things that we have requested. All of us have the responsibility to do it. Just, which is not just only to get the blessings, we go to TTD, but it is our responsibility to protect it, preserve it, and worship our Lord Venkateshwara. Namaste.